Did your phone just die? <laughs> Idiot. I have never been to an old Hayward. Thanks to your drink in a day. I'm not a fake fan. I live in Hawaii. <laughs> you have something on your tooth. I wasn't going to tell you, but now that we're filming, we are kind of need what is it? I don't know. <laughs> Why does it look like that? Why does it look at us like that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Jake. Hi, I'm a pole vaulter here at Oregon. I'm Taylor, and I do the heptathlon. And we're doing a Q and A. Cut. Okay, so we asked for your guys' questions. Yeah, so we have a bunch of questions and we're gonna go through some of them if they're good enough. So the first question, how do you like the new facility? How do you like the new facility, Taylor? It's pretty incredible. Right now we're in the team lounge and so up here we have like a pop shot. <laughs> We got foosball, pool, and then just seating and stuff. Bean bags. Um, my favorite part of Hayward would probably be the indoor pole vault pit. It's lower than the rest of the indoor facility, so you can kind of look at people vaulting from the level they're vaulting at. I'd probably just say my favorite part is just like outside on the track, like on a sunny day, like all the colors just pop and it's like so crazy to really green. be training in there. And red. Yeah, it's hard to complain about anything. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. What's your pre-race routine and good luck this weekend? Um, so, I always make pancakes in the morning. Um, I'd say I probably take more vaults and warm-up than most people do. Just because on meet day, I know I get a lot faster and stronger just because of the adrenaline of being in a competition. Okay. How ready are you? As ready as we're going to be. It's our first home meet so we're still just like dusting off the cobwebs especially with not having a season last year because of COVID. It's been a while for everyone since we've competed. Still super exciting. Yeah. Are you nervous? No. <laughs> yes. Very. But like it's a good nervous. Like yeah, It's a good nervous. It helps you. Yeah. Next question. Favorite and least favorite event. I only do one and least and favorite event. Pole vault and pole vault. Invite me to your meet. I want a ticket. Why did you move it? So it's pole vaulting for both. My favorite event is probably hurdles. And then my least favorite is the 800. Easy. How is it comparing the new facilities versus the old? Um, so yeah, that's pretty crazy. I luckily got to compete at the old Hayward quite a bit. Like I was little doing the all comers meets and then we'd had um, Oregon Relays in the state meet there for high school. And yeah, it's so different, but I think it's a good change. Like it's bringing a lot more attention to track and field, which is a sport that doesn't always get all the hype. So I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely a facility that's fitting to be in a town called Track Town USA. Throughout the whole facility, they put in a lot of pieces of the old Hayward into here to make it still have that old charm. The designs and the logos are based off of the old grandstands. Mm -hmm. Each entryway to the track um, is numbered with a piece of the old track. The actual so numbers cut the out from yeah. the ground. So the next question is, what kind of shoes do we get? So for our basic trainers, I'd say everyone likes to go with the pegs. So yeah. you can Pegasus 37, and then we have like our custom little duck, duck logo on there. If it focuses, I don't know. <laughs> His are dirty. Mine are dirty. <laughs> yeah, but other than those, we get all of the spikes we need for our events. Um, most so of them, you only get I, get, I get, I get, I get, I get, I get sprint spikes too. Oh yeah, yeah. You got two pairs. <laughs> you get two pairs of spikes. Some really special. And I get pretty much all the spikes except vault spikes. So these are the, the ones that I have right now. Sprint spikes. These are like the black and yellow ones. They have like custom O's and stuff. Like chrome bottom. Right, next question. Uni combo for the weekend. This weekend we're going with the black. Our tank top. And then you can also go with like a tight t-shirt and then just like black bottoms. The black on black looks really cool. The question, how can we watch? 
So they're going to be live streaming it on Runner Space, so you can go on there and find it yourself. Be... And then someone said, can I come watch you run? So currently, at least for the Hayward meets, we get a couple of tickets so we can invite people, but they're not selling tickets to the public because yeah. of COVID. So hopefully soon, though. And then... How big is your right pinky toe? <laughs> that big. Another question we got is what kind of masks do we wear during practice and competition? So we've been wearing these. They have like a mesh back. Don't say mesh back. It's going to make them think the whole thing is mesh. Oh. So we've been wearing these. <laughs> Don't really soak up our sweat like some of the other kinds of masks do. We're not really sure what the material is, but it looks like that. Other than that, a lot of people opt to wear the gaiters just because the convenience of like a workout. So this is what one of the gators we wear look like. I like to wear this during pole vaulting because when I'm about to go down the runway, I can just pull it down when there's no one around me and then I can vault without something like on my face. And then as soon as I land, I can just pull it back up. Cause you sure talked about sweat a lot. Yeah, I just cut out that part. <laughs> oh, that's that. Now we have to say goodbye. Yeah. Uh, if you guys have more questions, Leave and it in the comments. Comment them down below. Maybe we'll make another one. Maybe. Or maybe not. It was fun. What? And that's why I did kind of strap. Three, four to ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I pulled off for a reason.